Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So this video, we're just gonna look at how to add H alpha data into a galaxy image. So into the color data of a galaxy image. I've had uh, a number of people uh, ask me this over the course of the, uh, the, the life of this YouTube channel. And uh, I've also had it more recently being asked because we're, we are into galaxy season at this point, basically. And uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, telescopes and cameras that are uh, uh, pointed towards distant galaxies and taking images of it. So uh, a lot of times there are a lot of galaxies that you can capture H-alpha data in addition to your LRGB or your one-shot color data, you can capture uh, the H alpha data and you can integrate that into the image, into the color data in order to make the H alpha regions pop. So it's not hard to do. Let me just run over it real quick with you just to show you how that aspect of it, how that part of it is done. Um, this isn't going to be a full tutorial on processing an image. I'm simply going to show you how easy it is to add H alpha data to it and a little trick with a mask uh, so that you get the H alpha data where you want it and not uh, in areas of the image that uh, you don't want it. So I'm just going to switch over to PixInsight and we're looking at, uh, this is my LRGB data for it's it's only six and a half hours, but it's uh, it was what I was able to capture uh, LRGB data uh, of M33 and I have processed this data. So this image here has gone through all of the initial steps uh, from the start, which would be cropping it to dynamic background extraction uh, to stretching it, noise reduction, uh, and, and uh, so forth. Now, I did it separately. What I did was I combined the red, green, and the blue channels into one color image and worked on that separately. I also um, worked on the uh, uh, luminance separately and added that in. So here's the luminance data. Now, the luminance data, I, uh, I also removed the stars just like I did in the color uh, image here, uh, removed the stars and worked on the uh, the data in the luminance information separately because this is where your uh, details are held. So I wanted to maintain details, uh, add details back into the color image. So I usually like to work on my color image and my luminance image separately. So this image here that we're looking at represents basically a processed image. Now the stars haven't been added in yet. They'll be added back in afterwards. But what I did was I processed my H alpha data that I took for the M33 galaxy. So this is again uh, fully processed. Uh, all the, uh, uh, the the cropping, the dynamic background extraction, the stretching, and, and noise reduction, so forth. That's all been done to this image. I've removed the stars uh, because we only want to focus on adding the H alpha uh, where we want it. And I'm going to use the uh, uh, pixel math script that I had uh, discussed in a previous noise reduction video recently. Um, that script, I'll make this uh, a link to this script um, in the description of this video so that you can easily uh, download it and, uh, and uh, import it into your PixInsight as well for use if you don't have it already. But let's look at how to add in the H alpha data of M33 to this color LRGB image. So it's really simple to do since I've got my LRGB image ready to receive the H alpha data and I've processed the H alpha data separately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the H alpha image as a mask first of all and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the color image and what that's going to do is it is only going to allow the H alpha to be added to the galaxy itself. So it's not adding it to the entire image. If you added it to the entire image, you get a, um, a red cast across the entire image. So if I, if I show you that, let me just show you that without using a mask. If I add the H alpha data in, you can see that it added it to the H alpha regions within the galaxy, but it also added, if I just go ba uh, back, so this is before, and this is after it also is giving me a bit of a red hue across the entire image across the background which i don't want basically all i want is i want 
the H alpha data to be placed to be incorporated into the specific areas of the galaxy that are H2 or uh, H alpha regions. So by using the H alpha image itself as a mask, you can accomplish this. So that makes it really easy. You don't have to generate a, a custom mask or anything like that. Just use your existing H alpha image as the mask. And as you can see here, the red is, is, is all protected areas. So the background is all being protected, but we can see the open areas of H alpha nebulosity that are going to be applied. I'm just going to turn off the preview for the mask because we don't need to see it. And then it's as simple as using the pixel math that I'm providing to add in the H alpha data to the R, G, and B channels. So this is how it looks here. This is the pixel math that we're using. What you want to be sure to do though with this is I have my H alpha image uh, because I have uh, two other H alpha images opened uh, in this session of Pix Insight. I've named this one HA3. And what you want to be sure to do is go over to the pixel math here and make sure that this name matches your H alpha image. You don't have to be concerned about it in the green channel, but in the blue channel, you'll want to again make sure that this part here is referencing your H alpha image as well as this part here is referencing your H alpha image. Just trying to highlight it. There we go. So this part and this part in the blue channel have to be identical to the name of your H alpha image. And in the red, you'll want to make sure that again, that the H alpha image is being referenced properly here by name. Once you've done that, the only other thing that you need to be concerned about is just adjusting these values. As you'll get it, it'll be uh, a default of 1.2 times the H alpha. And you can adjust that to increase uh, the intensity or the amount of H alpha data that's being applied to the image or reduce it. So 1.2 is a, a weak response. If you took it up to 1.4, that would be uh, more dramatic. And of course, 1.8 would be uh, very dramatic, probably overkill. But you can play around with this value uh, with your own data just to see what you like, what you prefer in, in terms of how it is um, including uh, uh, incorporating the entry alpha data uh, in terms of the uh, the intensity of it. So play around with those. Um, one, I'll just use 1.4 as an example for this uh, tutorial. And once I've done all that, I've got, so I've got my H alpha image here that's processed, ready to go. I've applied it as a mask. And we can see that the mask is there. And I've got my pixel math open to apply the H alpha data to this color image now. So under destination, um, I can just leave everything at default, uh, replace the target image. And so by replacing the target image, what it's gonna do is just add the H alpha data into this color image. So let's grab the blue triangle, drop it onto our color image, and we'll see the H alpha magically appear in the image. So if I go before and after, so this is before, and you can see the H alpha regions, but they're not very, uh, they're not popping out at all. So if I add the H alpha data in, and there it is after, that's what the H alpha data added to the galaxy. So it's it's quite dramatic, uh, especially you can see it in the core here, where all of the, the, the good H alpha is being added in, and the specific, uh, uh, H alpha regions uh, are being uh, enhanced as well within the galaxy. So it uh, uh, adding H alpha data to your galaxy images can really help make them pop. I think that's pretty straightforward, not too difficult to do if you want to incorporate H alpha data into your color image. Uh, give it a try. Let me know in the comments uh, how it works for you uh, or let me know if you are doing it a different way. 
and uh, always interested to see how uh, everyone is processing their images and uh, the different techniques that they're using. This is but one technique that you can use to add the H alpha data in. There is um, numerous different ways you can do it. I like this particular method. I think it gives good results and you might too. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave me a comment. We'll see you again real soon. Take care, everyone. Clear skies.